Time now for Best Actress, and honestly, uh, this one is supposedly also a foregone conclusion. We've got Sally Hawkins for The Shape of Water, Francis McDormand for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Margot Robbie for I, Tanya, Saoirse Ronan for Lady Bird, <laughs> and Meryl Streep for The Post. And everybody says it's going to be Francis McDormand, but I think there's a possibility that Sally Hawkins could just... It, the Shape of Water is getting such, such critical acclaim. And it is a movie that I have had people say I did not understand one thing about that movie. And I tell them, I say, go back and see it and think of it as a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a mute housekeeper who worked in a government facility and she falls in love with the beast. Yeah, and I think you're right. When you talked in one of our segments earlier about the expectations, what you know about something going in, you do have to be in the right frame of mind. You, you do. And if you're not aware that maybe this is more If you're more trying fantasy, to take it literally... literally then you're going to have, oh, yeah, you're gonna you have some problem. real issues with that. But, I would agree. But I will tell you, Sally Hawkins is not your typical actress. No. You know, she's not a great beauty. Right. And, you know, but she fascinates me. I thought they made her beautiful oh, uh, in this movie. Uh, her heart was so big. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really know her until Blue Jasmine. Oh, well, that's when that, she I loved her in Blue Jasmine. Blue Jasmine. I did too. Yeah. So yeah. when I saw and her, she's I was got a excited. movie, also another movie out that you ought to see if you don't see it called Maudie. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, that is Ethan Hawke, I think, is her co-star, and she is so good in that. But she is the movie, The Shape of Water, to me. Everything is through her eyes, yes. her surroundings. You know, the, everything that's scary about the film is about how it affects her. Everything that's romantic about the film is how it affects her. Yeah. Everything about that relationship with the monster or the creature and then her relationship with her friends we right. talked about Richard, <laughs> Richard Jenkins, Jenkins and Octavia yeah. Spencer but she is a beautiful actress I mean without in, saying in her word. talent in her, in her talent and it was unique because she could hear she just couldn't speak right she actually just even listening to you describe it makes me realize what a force she is on this mm-hmm. movie I mean really I mean McDormand's playing a grumpy old Lady, which isn't much of a stretch. Sally Hawkins, this is a stretch. You have to pull this off. But I have loved Frances McDormand since Fargo. Right, right. And, and beyond. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, she's, she, there's, she's always been not your typical actress. Yes. And every role that she plays becomes a Frances McDormand role. Yes. And she did Olive Kittredge uh, oh, yeah, on that's television, right. yeah. won the Emmy for that. It, that was another one of her strong, strongest. But Fargo, when she was the quirky sheriff, and yep. I loved it. But what I didn't like in this movie was I never, I never saw her character change. She was angry from the start, and yep. she was angry at the end. Well, her daughter was brutally murdered and raped. She, uh, she was. Should she still kill. be angry by the end of that movie? Yeah, which but, is why but, it's but, good. But, just don't make it Hollywood esque. Don't make her all happy. Don't have her, you know, yeah. Okay, I'm that's what we talked it. about. Tear down, tear down the billboards. And with Sam Rockwell, he was a horrible character at the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. We talked about whether or not there was redemption for him by the end, and I say no. He was just a. Well, I said if he's just a little less horrible, and you said that might have been redemption. So for him, yeah, it might have been. But what about Cia Chabron then? Um, and Lady Bird, she's awesome. She is awesome. She's awesome. And I will say, you know, they actually do put odds. Like, people are actually allowed to... You look those up. I do, yeah. And Frances McDormand is a huge favorite, but the one that's climbing up is Sears Ronan. Yeah, she was the fourth um, highest odds, and then she's moved all the way up to But is Sally still number two? She's three now. Sears has moved up above Sally? And, of Mm. course, she was the star of Brooklyn, which I loved, and now she's in Lady Bird, and, man, I just... She she was... This is a good category. She was nominated for our supporting actress... For a movie, I can't think of the title, of an ointment or appointment or something like that. When she was thirteen, wow, you know, she's she's yeah, you know, she's, she's getting an Oscar done. goal from the from the start. But Margot Robbie, yeah, you know, she did that action movie, you know, oh, Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad, and she was the best thing in it. Yes, yeah, she was. I loved her in yes. that. And she was in the Leonardo DiCaprio movie where he was Wolf of Wall Street. She was. Oh, yeah, she played his wife, yeah. kind of a money digger, yeah. oil digger. But she's just come out of nowhere, and she produced this movie. Wow! Uh, I Tanya, as well as stars in it, 
And she plays a range from 17 to 40 yes. something. Yeah. You know. So and she's she, playing a lot of different roles in her movies too. She's yeah, and she was pretty good. talented. She, she was, was good. good. I mean, you know, I kind of I bought into the fact, and I don't know how much of the ice skating she did, but oh yeah, it looked, it it looked like a lot of it great. was hers. Yeah, but this is shocking, right? We're about to yeah, get to the fifth nominee, the and we're going to say nominee. it's the worst and the least deserving. And you know, why is she there? Please don't strike us down, cinema gods. But yeah. Meryl, Streep Meryl Streep does not belong on this list for I best actress. So either. That was not you know, Kay Graham. Uh, you know the publisher of the Washington Post back during the Vietnam era, the Watergate affair, it's, you know, Pentagon Papers. The, the movie was supposed to be, you know, kind of a feminist movie to show how she emerged as a strong leader or whatever. I just didn't get it. She wasn't as strong as I no, wanted her to be no. or thought she was going to be. You, you thought that there was going to be this, you know, transition from, because her husband was, was the publisher, right. he committed suicide. Yes. Then she became, you know, through chain of command, she became the person who headed up the paper. She had Ben Bradley as the editor of The Post, played by Tom Hanks. The movie's directed by Steven Spielberg. But I, you know, I think you and I have talked about this before. The The thing that you know actors tell me all the time is you cannot be caught acting i call that's her. how you i call yes. her i would agree i saw gestures that she's used in other right. movies you know yeah and, you know, the great emotion right yeah taps the hand over the mouth like mm, mm. and I, she did you ever feel like she was powerful no by the end like i thought she would go from meek maybe not knowing her no. place to to no. getting better and it's better like by it's the like end. sam rockwell's redemption yeah, just a little, just bit, a little, a little bit. bit. Uh, she got a little bit more powerful. I, I was, I didn't, I didn't feel it. I didn't think right. that, that she actually showed that transition. And maybe that's all in the script or in the direction yeah. or whatever. But again, it's like I said about Octavia Spencer. You know, she may, takes a role, and they say, "Oh, that must be Oscar worthy." Meryl Streep does "Mamma Mia," and they say, "Oh, that Oscar-winning performance." But you know, Jackie, kind of like uh, with you. It. If you attach a name to something, people want to see it. Just like with Meryl Streep. She attaches her name to something, people want to see it. So, I mean, it's it's a blessed effect that you have. You're in the same category as Meryl Streep. Yeah, Meryl. See? Sure. <laughs> she calls me for advice on her roles. I told her not to take the post. But, you know, it, we're going to get to the best picture you know, pretty quickly here. But out of all the movies nominated, I think the post is the only one that's projected to cross 100 million. Domestic, is it domestic? And that even surprises me. You know, the, all the others are in the fifty, and it's some number down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, single, not making single much digits. at all. But the post, come on! It's got Steven Spielberg. It's got Tom Hanks. It's got Meryl Streep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, it should have been better. Period. I, I cannot think. Maybe you can help me. Sarah Paulson, I think is her name, played Brent Ben Bradley's wife. Mm -hmm. You remember her yes, character I do. in the movie? I do. Sally. Mm hmm. For a movie that was supposed to show strong women, Sally, I can't think of her last name, but Ben Bradley's wife, she was a strong force. Right. I've seen her on TV right. and after his death, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. And that movie, all she did was make sandwiches. Yeah, she didn't do much. And, no. and I thought, what a put down for this Sarah character Paulson. to have her coming out saying, you want a sandwich? You know, what are the kids doing? Yeah. Let me do this. No, no force of power at all. And why hire a name actor? Yes, for that. Yes. You know, like don't yet, use Sarah at, Paulson. At two scenes. Yeah. I so. agree. Well it looks like so Francis McDormand, we agree. I think will I think, win. You know, unless this backlash Right, right, from know. the movie that's yeah, getting real I backlash. think I think she will win. Yes, and you, you agree. I think she will win. I'd like to see Sarah's Ronan and I think you want to see Sally Hawkins. I want to see Sally Hawkins. Sally Hawkins to me was that movie and yes, I loved her. Wow. Okay, coming up. Best director. Ooh, who will Ooh, that be? We'll find out. <laughs>